Last week, uh, new rules for the sale of pets kicked in as authorities seek to minimize the problems of pet abandonment and poor pet care. Our pet shops are now not allowed to sell a cat, dog or rabbit to those below the age of 16 unless the buyers are accompanied by the parents or their legal guardians. Well, the retailers will also have to screen potential customers for their suitability. So to discuss the issue and how effective it's going to be is Karine Fong, Executive Director at the Society for the Prevention of of cruelty to animals or SPCA. So, Karine, thank you for coming today. Thank you for so, having me. So, the new licensing rules, would you say they are a step in the right direction to reduce the number of people uh, impulse buying? I think it is. We've not had any legislation for the last 10 years. This is a uh, step in the right direction. I, we believe so. Um, there has been some criticism, though, that you know those, even if they're above the age of 16, yeah. can still buy without giving it much thought. So what do you have to say about that? Okay, I, I've heard these criticisms, and I'd say it is good to have a healthy dose of skepticism. Um, you have e uh, irres responsible under 16-year-olds, and you have equally irresponsible adults, right. okay? But I'd say that uh, these rules are, are in place so that when a purchaser um, wants to buy a pet, Mm -hmm. All these forms and all these questionnaires and all the uh, research you have to do, uh, you then have to make a very serious consideration, educated decision on whether you want to purchase the pet or not. Because pets are so cute. You can see them. You know, when they're small, they're cute, but when they grow up, they're hard to take care of. Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> most, uh, most fluffy puppies come in a window and they're little fluffy little fl fur balls. But, you know, a year later, they become huge, <laughs> big... Um, fluff balls and often the SPCA uh, receives a parent, children and a pet in tow and say look okay. we don't want this anymore you can, can take it with us. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So uh, the new rules also require retail to screen potential customers in your opinion what would they need to be looking out for? All right I think um, retailers need to um, give the correct information such as the breed type, what type of uh, conditions are likely to occur in these breed types. Uh, the longevity of the animal, for instance, let me, let me uh, give examples. Dogs can live between anywhere between 12 and 18 years old. Cats, up to 20 years and sometimes even more. Uh, rabbits, up between 5 and 8 years old. Okay? Now, we've only just, uh, the, the, these rules only just apply to cats, dogs and rabbits at this time. The SPCA hopes that all the smaller animals mm -hmm are given due consideration down the road, meaning the hamsters, guinea pigs, chinchillas, um, and all the other, obviously the birds and the fish down the road. Because um, we see a lot of rabbits being, being uh, given up, mm -hmm. or as you see here, uh, improper housing. You see a um, dog here in a very makeshift uh, cage. It's not even proper. You, you have all these mashes, and against the uh, sunshine and rain, that's, that's improper. We, we uh, have these rabbits, they were sitting in their f own filth and sludge, not taken care of. Now, if pet shops can help us by giving proper advice, mm -hmm. be um, upstream, then we don't have to take care of all these problems downstream. Okay, Karin, one last question for you. Over the years, would you say that the problem of abandonment and surrender cases in Singapore has improved? Meaning has it increased or, or decreased? Yes. No, I think it's um, increased slightly. But I think overall at the SPCA, uh, remember we take care of dogs, cats, rabbits, hamsters, chinchillas, guinea pigs, the whole works. Mm -hmm. I'd say 40% of the time, these are people surrendering an animal to us okay. at, the, at the reception. 60% of the time, these animals are lost without a traceable owner uh, because uh, there's no microchip and license for dogs uh, and rabbits. In case of rabbits and hamsters, they are left at void decks and, and so nobody can tell who these owners are. So I think the abandonments and surrenders have been fairly constant. Okay, so the new rules are hopefully a good step in the right direction. I think so, but okay. there should be more to come. All right, thank you very much. Great speaking to you. Thank you very much. And that was Kareen from the SPCA on the issue or uh, the drive to improve conditions for pets here in Singapore. On that note, let's go.